So here's a very simple and elegant proof of Pythagoras' theorem. What I've got here is a square with another square drawn inside it, and I've just labelled all of the lengths as so. Now, so we've got four congruent triangles here, totally identical, lengths A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, and C for all of the hypotenuse is, which is the length of the side of the square on the inside. I'm just going to look about the area of this shape in two different ways. So firstly, the area of each of these triangles is a half the base times the perpendicular height, so it's a half AB, and so all of the others are as well. And the area of this square is C squared, it's a square of side length C. So one way of looking at the area of this large square is that the area is C squared plus half AB plus a half AB plus a half AB plus a half AB, so 4 times 1 half AB, so that would be C squared plus 2 times AB in total, if you like, you can think of it as a square and 4 triangles, so that would be 2 rectangles, which would be uh, A times B each. Another way of looking at the area of the large square is to say that actually, well, forget all the stuff I put on the inside, it's just a single large square where the side length is A plus B. So we could also say that the area is just A plus B squared, and a bit of basic algebra says when we multiply that out we get a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now, whichever way we look at the area, the area has to be the same. So the two expressions I've got here, this one and this one, must be equal to each other. So I must have c squared plus 2ab equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, but then the 2ab's cancel, or we can subtract it from each side, and we're just left with c squared as a squared plus b squared, or you could write it the other way around as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is Pythagoras theorem.